Well, hold on, buddy. Spectacular, the silver stacular. Once in a blue moon, a coin comes along that just blows us away. And this right here is my version of that right now. Now, listen, some people talk about coin of the year, coin of the month, whatever. This might be coin of the decade, coin of my lifetime. I've never seen something so cool. I want to show this thing to you. This is the Revolver, two ounce, triple nine fine silver collectible coin. Before this became a big deal, I made a post after I saw a picture of it on my community tab telling people, hey, look at this thing, consider it. Uh, you know, you got your typical, hey, just focus on bullion, silver is silver. Unfortunately, those people were wrong yet again. Um, if you were to buy this coin, when I told you it was kind of cool, you ended up getting more value than you would believe right now for this thing. Um, it's done very, very good in the secondary markets. And it's not really, I mean, for some people haven't even got it in their hands yet. I mean, I just got this today and some people still haven't got theirs yet. Um, depending on who, what seller you went with, this thing is hot. This is actually right here. If you look at the side, it's triple nine fine silver legal tender. So you could go to your grocery store um, in whatever country this came from and be like, hey, I would like to go ahead and get my whatever, your uh, groceries with this revolver. Hopefully you don't stick it right in their face like that because then you may have a different day planned out for you or somebody might have a different day planned out for you. Anyways, let's get right into it. This is the coin, believe it or not. And I'm going to take it out of this plastic because I think that it needs to come out and breathe for you to enjoy and see all the little details that comes with this thing. Now, first of all, I don't know if you noticed, but the box itself is just a little cardboard box, nothing too special here, but it was nice to see this little pull tab. And right here, I'll show you how it came out. If you don't notice, the little pull tab came with it so that you could just pull it out. A lot of times those cardboard boxes, we're trying to figure them out, blah, 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 trying to get them out. Let's see what this says right here. Um, the enclosed is an authentic collectible coin issued by the authority of the Republic of Chad and is legal tender in the country with the following specifications. Metal is triple nine fine silver. Weight is two ounce silver. Size is 80 by 36 millimeters. Finish antique high relief country Chad. Face value 10,000 francs CFA. Mintage is 5,000, so only 5,000 is coin. Now, I will say, it is expensive. It's not a cheapo thing, right? A lot of times right now, these are going for well over $200, which means you're going to be over $100 an ounce. Now, you could have got it for cheaper if you would have had, you know, went ahead and listened to my community tab at the time and paid a little attention right there and not been a hater, but you now you got to pay the piper. It is what it is. I'm going to try to get it out of there. All right, she is out of her plastic prison, and I'm gonna show you this thing the way it deserves to be seen. So you can see all the engraving right there. It says the revolver, and just the detail and scroll work that was done on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. There's so much detail. I'm gonna to try to zoom in as much as I can and let you enjoy some of that detail as we go through, but man, you got the dice right there. I mean, this is very, very well done. And this is when you start thinking about, hey, this is not just silver anymore, man. This is a collectible, and this will be a collectible for a long time. Um, the people that say, oh, you know, in 10 years, I'll find that in a, a Bennett spot. Hey, let me let me uh, go through those bends with you, because I'd love to find this thing in 10 years. And in fact, those same bends that you're talking about 10 years prior, I'm looking for stuff that's been put out that's really cool at spot. And a lot of times you can't find cool stuff like this. I mean, that's, that doesn't really happen. That's just some old wives tale that uh, has been told to old men and now old men tell it. You know what I mean? But look at this. It's actually every piece is serialized. 0736 out of 5,000. So this is the 736th made. Now, this is a coin. Believe it or not, this is actually a coin and it's double-sided too. You would expect to see only half of it done, right? Just the other side being flat with all the information on it, but it's both-sided. And you know, being a coin, you can actually have it graded, and some have already been graded by NGC that I've seen. And uh, I think the company that made this, Bullion Exchanges, actually had like the first 10, uh, maybe even more than that, graded by NGC, and um, they're going for a lot of money, $600, $700 for this two ounce silver piece right here for the first 10. So um, as, as this video comes out, I guarantee um, it's kind of an unfortunate side effect of having a channel 
Um, there's gonna be a thousand plus people that see this video and now the demand is gonna go higher and the price inevitably will go up. Um, originally when I saw this piece and I posted it, the price was you know decent, still expensive, it's still a collector's piece. But immediately after I made that post, the day after, the company came out and said, hey, due to the demand of this piece, we had to raise the prices immediately the very next day so again if you you know you had all these time right now it's probably been like a month plus you had all this time to get one so i'm sorry if the price goes up because of this video it is what it is i just really want to show it off here it is right here two ounces 999 fine silver now we've seen some of these beautiful pieces that have been coming out lately and they're not putting the weight or the fineness on there or that it's even silver Unfortunately, I don't agree with that. I think we need to post that it's what it is, two ounces, one ounce, um, triple nine fine silver. This company has done this. In fact, it really has all the bells and whistles. I can't think of a bell or a whistle that was missed. And there you can see um, the logo for the piece. And it's really cool. 10,000 francs CFA and Republic of Chad 2023. I mean, the bells and whistles are all there. It's just so amazing, this piece. Um, if I had an actual revolver uh, that looked halfway this decent, man, I would just, that'd probably be my favorite piece. I'd be in love with it. Uh, the trigger even has stuff done to it. It is fantastic. It makes you just want to cock it back, but unfortunately, it is just silver, right? We can't do all that. It's it's just all done up so well. So, you know, in this case right here, this is a wonderful piece to keep on the shelf, to show it off, and just to have this piece just you know, talked about. Somebody comes in and they go, wow, what is that? Be like, oh, dude, you haven't seen the revolver? Look at this thing. It's so cool. Um, now, I heard that this is the first in the series, too. I heard that the next in the series may be an AK. Um, I don't know that for a fact. I just heard this is a series thing. And I tell you what, I hope it is. I hope that they keep on doing things like this. I hope you keep the mintage low. Um, even lower would be fine with me. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. But it is a cool, cool piece. But listen, if you do get one of these, I highly recommend that you keep this plastic right here in good shape because you're not going to be able to go in, I don't know, five, ten years to um, any of the companies that make these plastic capsules and be like, hey, I need the one for the revolver. This is going to be like, no, you, we don't have those. There's no way to get those. Those are done and over with. So make sure you keep your plastic um, in good condition. You're not cracking it, whatever the case may be. And there you go. Um, I have an extra one coming. And again, like I said, some of these uh, sellers, they haven't even got their products out yet because the demand was so crazy. So I do have one more coming. I'll probably put it for a decent price on spectacular.com. Uh, when it comes in, I don't know when that is for sure. Uh, but when it does, I mean, if you want to jump on one that's at a good price, feel free. Um, if you think it's just, you know, boring old, you know, silver that got a fancy, uh, um, wolf coating to it and it's just a sheep underneath then that's fine, whatever you want to believe. Uh, but if you're a collector of fine things and you think this right here is something cool, a good talking piece, then jump on it while you can because I bet that once these are completely sold out and collectors have them in their hands and nobody else, that you're going to find this to be something that's desirable for a, a lot of people, especially when they come out with the next one in the series. So when that second piece comes out, whatever it is, if it is a an AK-47, then... That'd be really, really awesome. I would love that to pieces. But um, I recommend it. If you don't want it, if you don't like it, if you just want to see it you know, through me, then that's fine too, right? Um, I think you'd have a hard time saying that that is not a cool piece. You know, Down in the comments, let me know what you think for sure. But if you think this is a boring piece, then I don't, I don't know if I can be your friend. <laughs> what kind of life are you living? You know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, this is, this is special. Very good job. Little... Round of applause right there to the company that put that together because I think that that is something cool for the silver hobby, um, something a little bit as a as a bonus to collectors out there that love you know weapons like that. Um, hey, I'm one of those guys. I think they're cool. Um, I think they're interesting. Um, I love being a member of the uh, uh, the United States that uh, you know has the Second Amendment behind us that allows us to hold those things in our possession. And uh, not just, I'm not talking about the silver piece, obviously. I'm talking about the real deal, Holyfield drug deal. I'm talking about the real revolvers. Anyways, 
Um, I got to go for now. Appreciate you for watching again. Uh, whenever that one becomes available that I'll have for a decent price, I'll be able to get that to somebody um, on spectacular.com. I bought an extra one just in case somebody was interested out there. And uh, if not, then go ahead and pay a lot more for them. If that's what your game is, that's up to you. That's your business. But I got to go for now. I appreciate you for watching. Let me know if you got a really low mintage on one of those, like down in the you know 10s, 20s, 30s, 40s. I'd be kind of curious. I mean, obviously mine is in the 700s, which I still think is cool. Uh, whether it was 4,999, I think that thing would be cool. So anyways, once in a while, I like to put some collectible stuff on the shelf just for funsies because that's... That's my game. That's what I do. I like to look at my stuff, man. I don't want it just to be secretive and hidden away under a mattress somewhere. I want to I want to look at it once in a while and enjoy the hobby I'm in. Spectacular is out. Yeah.